same thing in, in uh, I was in Manhattan with the same band, right in, in Midtown Manhattan, and this is a heavy metal club, so I opened with um, some horrible, horrible, insane, I was face fucking a little retarded boy or something, and um, and, and he, he kept saying, whoa, 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 whoa. so I pulled my dick out of his mouth, his mouth so I could understand him, and he said, don't do that anymore, it hurts, daddy, and uh, so they didn't like that either. They cut the lights and the sound off on me. <laughs> that damn thing. And come to find out, this was not a, really a heavy metal club. It was a make-believe. These yuppies from Long Island would come in on a Friday or Saturday night and play heavy metal. You know, play like they're like their own, yeah. yeah. And, uh, but they couldn't take it. So they shut off the sound and the lights uh, for Carnival Cruise Lines. Oh, yeah, that's right. And uh, there were 77 comics. We each went in all day long, did two two minutes, and then they called the 10 uh, one of their favorites back that night, and I was one of them. And uh, when they got to me that night, not only did I win that fucking contest, I mean, I stomped on it. I got a um, standing ovation and a curtain call and people screaming. Just and the whole, It was probably 250, 300 people. And this one fucking judge, he had something to do with the club up there. He didn't like me to begin with, but when it was all over with, he got up and said, well, I don't know about the rest of you, but I like him. Uh, just, they, they just sat down and gave me a standing ovation. Yeah, I guess they kind of liked me, you stupid prick. <laughs> but anyhow, it was four years before I got out on Carmel Cruise Line. <laughs>